Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna play a little more Harvest Moon Animal Parade. Today I thought I could uh, do a little cook-off. Just kind of show you guys all the different things you can do uh, cooking-wise in the game. And uh, I apologize for the screaming children sounds. <laughs> So it's been a while since we played, and I've been playing a lot of this in the meantime, so I'll have to catch you guys up to speed a little bit. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so here's Stemmy, and you guys might notice some things are a little different than usual. Uh, so, uh, firstly, two seasons have gone by since last time I played with you guys, so last episode was in f the fall, in-game, and I've gone all the way through wintertime, I've gone all the way through springtime, and, uh, now it is summertime. And, you may notice, I have a little friend here. This is Pigglesworth. Though, I couldn't fit Pigglesworth in the name slot, so we just call her Piggles for short. And she, you might recognize her, she was that little boar that I be, was befriending near the forest. And so yeah, I befriended her, now she's my pet. And she also won a pet competition, which is why she has an adorable tiny little crown on her head. Uh, so, let me show you what Pigglesworth can do. So she does these little tricks, use this whistle. She has three different tricks that she does. She has a little roll. She does, oh, I think we just unlocked a fourth one. The second level is sort of like a, a spread eagle, like jump spread eagle kind of trick. And then third level is a jump and spin, like a barrel roll kind of thing. And let's see what the fourth one is. Wow, okay. It was like just a straight up front flip. That is so cool. Let's see if I have any treats to give Pickles because she's really earned it. Uh, oh shucks, I don't have any berries on me. Okay, we're gonna have to take her for a walk. Let's take her for a walk. Today's a sunny day. And she'll follow me outside. Uh, really sorry about the screaming kids. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, it is a breezy day for sure. You can see up in the corner the, the windmill is like going really fast, so. Let's run around the property and I'll show you guys what's a little different too now. So I actually have a new field over here that I bought, a plot of land that has, I'm growing all these flowers in. And there's... that's weird. Maybe I didn't save my game. Hmm. Okay, anyway. So it looks like I have a little bit of honey here I can collect. That's the cool thing about growing flowers, is that uh, you can sometimes get a little bit of honey from them, too. Uh, yeah. So, I'm growing all these flowers, which means I'm making a lot more money than before. I don't really need to forage much or anything, uh, but it's still fun, too. Oh, here's a berry I can give to Biggles, because... She's so good. Good job, Pickles. You awesome. You so awesome. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna turn the volume up just a little bit. We're trying to compete with the screaming children. Oh uh, yeah, the wind sounds in the game are like pretty loud. 
So you have to walk your pets uh, to keep them happy. So I usually just jog around the property every day with Piggles to keep her in good shape, keep her happy. And as you can see, she's very happy. <laughs> she's got that little green smiley face over her head. Uh, I'll try my best to cut out the screaming children's sounds. Just, you know, it's not, not particularly relaxing. Okay, so that's good for a morning jog. We'll put pickles. Oh, what's this? What is that? Oh, okay. Raspberry fruit. It looked like a pine cone for a second. <laughs> and I was like, I've never seen a pine cone in this game before. But no, it was just raspberries. So my goodness, that wind sound is very loud. Um Let's check the weather. I'm pretty sure they said it was going to be rainy the next day or stormy the next day. Hello, this is the Rainbow Weather Report. Here's your forecast for tomorrow. Oh yeah, it'll rain hard with thunder and showers tomorrow. It'll be mildly breezy. Uh, be careful if you go out. Looking forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Okay, bye now. Um, so, the storm's not too bad. It's actually kind of appropriate because uh, in real life, there's actually been a lot of storms going on here where I live. It's been crazy windy. Like at night, especially, uh, it sounds like the roof is gonna come right off the top of my apartment. <laughs> it's crazy windy outside, and then everybody wakes up the next day to like trees just on top of roofs on top of cars in the middle of the road like just it's a disaster <laughs> it's been pretty crazy um, so even right now um, I'm just gonna take care of my animals really quick uh, so even right now it's a little breezy outside and I don't know maybe that's maybe that's why the kids are all riled up So let me take care of my animals real quick and then um and then we'll just get to cooking. Like I wanna show you guys different things, but uh there's like always these like little routines and stuff that you have to do to keep up everything. Oh my goodness, Chops, what's wrong? You look very unhappy. Oh my gosh, what's wrong? Come on, Chops, cheer up. Oh, it makes me so sad. Uh, you may have noticed that my, te my television in the game is a lot bigger. Coincidentally, my television in real life is also a lot bigger, though I don't think you guys can tell. <laughs> um, yeah. What am I looking for here? Right. Let's see if Chops has any milk today. Nope, guess not. Okay. Let's take care of Patty. Give her a little brushing. And give her a little petting. And get some milk too. Okay. Milk, I usually just. Oh, that's right. Paco 
she won a competition as well, so you can see that she has a little crown on her head as well. She has a special little duck. She won the, uh, I don't know, farm animal competition or something last season. Oh, look how cute she is. Look at her little crown. It's so awesome. <laughs> Baka is so cute. You're cute too, Chuckles. Let's give you some little pets. And we'll carry you around too. Now it's very windy outside. I think the animals might want to be outside. The only time I don't like to be outside is when it's actually like lightning and thunder or when it's raining. So the next day in game, animals will definitely have to uh, stay inside. So let's put the animals out. Let me water my crops a bit and then we can get to our cook off. Everybody marching out. Paco, and her little crown, and there's Chops, and she's a little naked today. So I'm growing um, a lot of different things now. Uh, so you saw the other plot had, you know, lots of f flowers. So here I'm growing, uh, I'm pretty sure it's corn in this row. This row is tomatoes. Yeah. You can see some of them are actually tomatoes. Some of them are still little yellow flowers. These tall stalks with the lavender on top kind of color is actually rice. This is like my little rice patty. And then here I'm growing some green tea. Yeah. Let's get some of these weeds out. I don't like these weeds. Get out of here, weed. I hear weeds. Patty, excuse me. <laughs> She's so cute. Just sitting her big round butt there. Alright, pick up some cherries. Some decent cherries. And of course you can see I'm growing some onions here too. Uh, yeah, so let me just water all my crops really quick. just to speed it up though I actually have a silver watering can now as you can see it's very shiny and silvery which allows me to water uh, nine plots simultaneously like that so it goes a lot faster the watering process Another thing about the weather that I have to keep an eye on because it's the summer season in game is that uh, I'm so surprised these trees have not grown yet. I'm pretty sure it's been a year since I planted them and I don't know why they're not growing. I might have to cut them down and try again. One is a coffee tree and the other one is a chestnut, I think. I'm not sure. Um, So the weather, there in the summertime, they'll have typhoons and typhoons will wipe out like 30% of your crops. Like just randomly, it'll just grab. I'm gonna harvest my tea leaves here. You can make green tea out of these. So whenever the weather tells me that there's a typhoon coming, I, uh, I don't know. I, it's not really like, there's not much you can do about it. If your crops are like harvestable, then certainly you want to harvest them. <laughs> if they're not ready to be harvested, then uh, there's really not much you can do, unfortunately. Okay, so let's keep these two. I will sell the rest. You can sell those cherries. You can sell. Oh, that's a nice egg. Might use that for cooking. We'll save the egg. 
I'm kind of excited. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Okay. I can harvest these onions too. Okay, harvest onions. But tomorrow's not a typhoon, it's just lightning and rain, so it shouldn't be an issue. It sounds like a tiny, uh, chainsaw. <laughs> so those are supposed to be, I think those are supposed to be like cicadas or something. They like come out in, in the summertime. Not actually sure. I know cicadas make a lot of noise when they, uh, come out to mate. I didn't miss any. Oh, this corner here. I have no idea what these are. <laughs> like, what is that? Can I harvest it? Yeah? No? I have no idea what that is. I don't remember what I planted there. Okay, so now that we're all watered up. Oh. Let's go inside and see what kinds of goodies we can cook up. Hi birdie birdies. Look at them dancing around. <laughs> I never noticed that before, the way they just kind of hop around and tweet. Oh, that's adorable. Okay. Well, Stemmy's looking a little tired already. I think. Actually, let's see. No, she looks okay. She looks alright. Okay, so, we've, um, I've shown you how to do, oh, my TV's kind of blocking the view of it here. Wow, shucks. TV? Huh? It's too big. It's so huge. <laughs> like, this, this was the next grade up of TV that they had. Like, and you guys remember the last one was super tiny. It was like the size of this phone. And the next size up is this, which is like theater home theater size, right? Like, no in between. <laughs> like, no, no graduation there. Um, so I have my cooking, my uh, cutting board here in the corner, and I have my pot. And this is an aging pot, this little one here. You can make, like, fermented foods and, uh, like, alcoholic drinks and stuff, and yogurt. Um, and then you have an oven. I have two refrigerators now. And then I also have other cooking devices that are not, that I'd, I'd have to swap out, um, yeah, to bake stuff, whatever. Um, so let's take a look at our recipe really quick here. Our actually, first let's look at what ingredients we have that we can work with. I know I have lots of flours, like flour, like rice flour and wheat flour and stuff. Okay, so. Uh, Let's see. Oh, maybe? Oh, that's really weird. So, I've got yams and spinach. Honey, lots of honey. Strawberries. Octopus, prawn. Pineapple. Lettuce, lettuce cheese, cherries. Uh, tomato, pumpkin. more cherries, carrots. This is cornbread, which I think I won in a competition. Uh, I did not bake all of that. Some butter. I really need to organize my foods. Okay, so it appears that we don't actually have much milk or butter in, uh... Hmm. I've got a good amount of egg. 
eggs. Oh, I've got like four eggs. Hmm, so I might have to go buy some. Maybe we can order some on the phone. Let's see. Uh, we go to Horn Ranch. Maybe we can just order some. Make it easier. Uh, no. Oh, here we go. Okay, so... Milk. We can get some milks. Maybe like five. Butter. Oh good, they have butter. Perfect. Okay, let's get some butters. Alright, that makes it so much easier. That's another great thing about like this, uh, this game compared to the one, the last one they made, which was, uh, um, Harvest Moon Tree of Tranquility. You couldn't just order stuff on the phone. You had to like run all the way out to the store and hope that they were open that day if you needed something, um, but this, even on days when they're closed, you can still order over the phone and you just get it immediately, uh, somehow, <laughs> I don't know, they just, like, transport it through the phone, somehow, um, so, okay, let's check out our recipes, uh, we've got a good amount of sugar and flour and egg and butter and milk, so let's see what oven recipes we can do today, so we can do, like, yeah, Cake. I thought I had a carrot. We could do like carrot cake. Lots of different cakes, which if you look at the ingredients, it's always flour, egg, butter, and milk. And then whatever special ingredient you're using to like flavor it. So we can do all kinds of different cakes. Yam, carrot, pumpkin, spinach, we have all of that. Um, we can do puddings, which are just egg and milk, so a lot simpler. Oh, pie. Hmm. I have to make pie crust and an egg and a blackberry. Did I save that blackberry? Oh, I want to try making blackberry pie now. Let's see, do I have the blackberry? I think that's what the first thing I'm going to tackle. I think it's out in the box. Let's go grab it really quick. I think it went in the shipping box. I wonder if there's a raspberry pie. If you can make blackberry pie, I'm sure you can make a raspberry pie. Let's see. Hi, Chops. Okay. We'll grab that butter, too, since we can use that. Wait, what's this? Perfect butter. Perfect butter. Okay. We will just consolidate those. Like that. Oh, shit. I don't have the blackberry. Take the raspberries. You know what? I bet you can make cherry pie. I mean, that's like a classic thing to bake, right? That's like a classic thing. So, even though um, I haven't unlocked that recipe, I bet I bet there is a cherry pie that you can make. So let's try. It. Let's let's try for cherry pie and hope that we don't waste our ingredients. All right. So let's look up how to make a pie crust. Cutting board recipe, I think. Yeah, pie crust. Flour and butter. Okay. So let's grab a flour. We already have butter in our inventory. So let's see, what's this? Let's not use the shining flour. Let's use the lower quality stuff just for, you know, since we're just having fun today, because. I like to save the higher quality stuff. Well, it looks like all I have is perfect. Hmm. Um. Uh, let's just grab them all. I'm gonna need them anyway. Okay. I like to save the higher quality stuff for... Like, when there's cooking competitions and stuff in the game. Okay, so it said flour and butter. So let's slap a butter on the cutting board here. Throw on some flour and cross our fingers. Let's see what happens. Yeah, we have a pie crust. That's awesome. Okay, let's double check that pie recipe really quick. Just uh, 
want to make sure I get it right. Oven. Okay. Blackberry pie. Oh, we need an egg too. Okay, so we have a pie crust egg and then we'll use cherry instead of blackberry and hopefully pie crust egg and cherry in the oven. Let's give it a try. Hopefully this will work. So we put our pie crust. And you know, it doesn't really matter what order you put stuff in, as long as you just have the right combination. And an egg, an egg, an egg, an egg, an egg. I oh, the, okay, I guess I don't have an egg in my inventory. <laughs> it's a bit of an oversight there. It's, I put it over here. I don't know why I did that. Perfect. Shining. Perfect. Are those the only ones I have here? Yeah, no, it's shiny. I really do need to go through and like organize this a little better, so let's just grab the perfect egg. And how much room do I have? Okay, let's just let's just grab these ones too, because I know I'm gonna need them. Yeah. For other stuff we're cooking. Alright. Okay, let's do our turn. egg, get a cherry, and get a pie crust. Hopefully this works. Let's see. Please work, please work, please work. <gasps> Yay! Cherry pie was added to your recipes, so I basically just, you know, discovered a new recipe on my own, like, or Stemmy did. Um, yeah, so now it's added to our... Oh, look at it. It looks so delicious. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. <laughs> Alright, so um, let's go ahead and make a cake. Uh, wait, did I have... Cake was like you needed flour, egg, milk, and butter, I think. And I have... I have all of those, okay. So we just have to figure out what kind of cake we want to make. I know that there was, there's yam cake, there's pumpkin cake, there's spinach cake. Uh, and something else. Let's look over here. So, I only have one pumpkin. I really don't want to use that. Um, I only have one spinach. I really don't want to use that either. I do have two perfect yams, so oh, I can make strawberry shortcake too, actually. I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's make a strawberry cake and a yam cake. How about that? I might have to buy more eggs because I don't think I have enough to do as much of the stuff I want to do today with you guys. Alright, so we go to our oven. put in. The cake recipes are one of the recipes that actually fills up all the slots. We use five items. So milk, butter, egg, flour, and then whatever flavor you want it to be, right? So this should work. Strawberry shortcake? Give me strawberry shortcake. Yeah! Oh wow, that looks so good. <laughs> this is making me hungry. <laughs> to go to the store and buy a strawberry shortcake now. Shortcake was added to your recipes. Oh, maybe I discovered this one too. I could have sworn I made this one before, but oh wow, look at that. That looks so good. Oh, I'm so proud. I'm so proud of my work. Okay, so let's make a yam cake. And then, um, I want to try making ice cream too today. ice cream maker, so we can make different flavored ice creams too, like strawberry and green tea. We'll make, you know what, let's make a green tea ice cream since I have harvested a bunch of that today. So here's my little yam cake. Isn't it so cute? It looks really yummy too. I'll put that away. My inventory's gonna get too full. Hmm, I might have to just sell all of these. You know what, let's actually, let's just eat one. 
Let's eat the cherry pie. Yeah. Eat. Yum. We. Oh, that gave me lots of energy. Okay. So, um, that's the oven. So that's some of the things you can make with the oven. Here's the aging pot. And let me just show you what we can do with the aging pot. Let me double check my recipe, though. So, we can make... Uh, aging pot recipes. So you can make yogurt with just milk. You can um, make pic pickled vegetables. So I just, you have to have salt and vegetables. I've made a lot of those. I've never made sardines in oil before. Oh, olive oil. That's what my other tree out front was supposed to grow into was an olive tree because I wanted to make olive oil, but it never grew. So uh, yeah, I'm going to have to Start over with that. Start that process over. So here you can also make cocktails. Uh, you just have to have two of whatever fruit you're using. So two cranberries or two grapes or two blackberries. I don't know what I have. Do I have two? I don't think I have two raspberries, do I? Oh, I do. Okay, let's make a raspberry cocktail real quick. I'm pretty sure that that's a thing, or I might just be wasting my raspberries now. That's kind of the excitement about uh, cooking, is that sometimes the recipes don't work. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so it's always, a bit of, it's always a bit risky, right? So here's our raspberry cocktail, which is a recipe I did not have, so I just sort of like discovered it, or Stemmy discovered it on her own. A little raspberry cocktail. You know what? Let's just go ahead and drink it. Yum. I want a raspberry cocktail and some cherry pie right now. That sounds delicious. Okay, uh, I was gonna also make a yogurt. Da -da 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 -da. Aging pot. Okay. You can make kimchi, which is basically carrot, cabbage, and spiced pepper. I don't think I have all of them. Cocktails, cocktails, cocktails. Coconut cocktail. There's all types of cocktails. They have so many different cocktails. So, yogurt. Hmm. I know that you can make yogurt. But then, there's Another way to make like a yogurt drink, and maybe that's not with the aging pot. Okay, well, let's just let's make a yogurt. Yeah, there's our nice little plain yogurt. We'll put that in our inventory and see if maybe we can't do something with that later. Okay. Pot recipes. Let's see what we can do with uh, the pot recipes here. Cheese, risotto, cheese, onion, and rice. Ooh. I think, I think I have a rice. Did I sell the rice? Wait, what did I do with that rice? I know I had one at some point. There it is. Oh, perfect. Cheese, onion, and rice. Let's go ahead and just do that. Because I had a cheese. I have onions. My cheese is over here. Yeah. I think that'll be a cool thing to make with this one little piece of cheese that I have. Alright. We're gonna make... I'm carrying too much. Oh no. I'm gonna have to eat something, guys. I'm carrying too much stuff. Oh. I'm gonna have to eat this yam cake, you guys. I have to make sacrifices, you know? There we go. Alright. So it was onion, cheese, and rice. Okay, we'll use one of these. I'll just use a decent onion, it's fine. Uh, rice and cheese. Yay. 
doesn't look very delicious. It looks kind of boring. They should have put more of a cheesy color to it. It looks rather bland. Okay. Uh, well, that was fun. <laughs> Let's see what else we can do with our... Our pot. So yeah, I know it is a lot of like running back and forth. Um, you can make mushroom rice. Just use the common brown mushrooms and rice, but I think I'm out of rice, so I can't make any more rice dishes. Eel bowl? Oh. I knew I was saving that eel for something. Oh shucks, now I wish I had saved the rice. Hmm, okay. Well, whatever. Conger eel bowl. Yeah, I have a conger eel. I'll have to remember to make that next time I have rice. So I did have a potato. We can make potato stew. It's the only right ingredient required is potato. Yam stew, same thing, all you need is a yam. Pumpkin stew, all you need is a pumpkin. Boiled egg's pretty simple. Um, I, I, I want to show you guys the stuff that's a little more like we're actually combining ingredients, not just boiling stuff. <laughs> so, okay, tomato soup. I have a tomato and I have milk. So, maybe... We'll do that. I don't have any shark, so I can't do shark fin soup. Don't have sardines either. Oh, squid tomato stew. I have a squid and tomato. Oh, I want to make this. I want to make this. I want to make this. I only have one tomato though. Oh, wait. No, I don't have squid. I have an octopus. Okay. We'll have to do tomato soup then, which is just milk and tomato. Let's put, because uh, our inventory is full again, let's put this. I'm not going to be using that. I'm not going to be using that. We'll save that for later. Let's get our tomato over here. And we still have milk. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, okay. Boy, that wind's really going crazy outside, huh? Really billowing. Okay, so... Milk, tomato, and the way they have things set up in this game, you, there's a lot of running back and forth because you have to go through to your bookshelf to check the recipes and like, you know, if you like forget really quick, like, oh shit, was it onion or was it spinach or whatever, you know, then like, you have to go back and check the recipe again, you know. So, alright, here's our tomato soup. It looks delicious. We will put that in the fridge as well. Uh, and then, alright, so last time with the cutting board, I showed you how to make sashimi, and today we did the pie crust. Um, I don't know if there's really too much else exciting to show you with the cutting board. Let's see. Oh, oops. Uh, so that requires rice. We made lots of sashimi last time. Okay, marinated fish. Fish, onion, and herbs. I do have herbs. I do have onion. And I do have fish. But my herbs are out in the box, so I gotta go grab them. Let's go grab them. So, we're gonna make marinated fish, which I have not made this one before. Um, so, when you have recipes, you can get them either by discovering them yourself, or you can collect them, you can buy them from stores. Some of them you just kind of find in people's kitchens when you're, like, being a Snoopy Pooby in their kitchens. Um, yeah. So, oh wait. I need to grab that fish really quick. Okay, so let's, um... Take one bonito, that's fine. Alrighty. So it was fish, onion, herb. There we go. Alright, hopefully this works. Yeah, alright. That's hella cool. Another one, another delicious dish by Stemmy. 
No, we'll put this one away and save it for later. See if there isn't anything, you know, particularly exciting. Vegetable salad, egg salad, maybe? Oh, I don't have any mayonnaise, I don't think. Could buy some. Could buy some. But I need to make a boiled egg, too. Uh, don't have any tuna, but that's pretty cool. Can make a tuna sandwich. Sobagaki. Oh, I actually think I do have soba flour. I think. Is that a finished dish? Sobagaki? A chocolate banana? Oh, I don't have either one of those, but that's pretty cool. I can make a lunchbox too. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. I think I have some. Let's boil an egg really quick, and I kind of want to make the egg salad. Let's make the egg salad. Crap, okay. Well, let's buy some mayonnaise and stuff first. How much money do I have? Okay, I think I'm doing okay money-wise. Uh, we need... Some more eggs. We need... Probably some more milk. Oh shit, a lot of money. And we need a mayonnaise. And then I think we won't be able to afford any more any more stuff today, I don't think. Um We'll have to try and keep our cooking to that. Alright, let's boil one of these eggs. Sugar and strawberry. Okay, I have all of that. I 
just need to grab my sugar, which is in here. Yeah, there we go. Shining sugar. And perfect sugar. What's this? Oh, I have salt too. Okay. I have curry too. I have no idea where to use that. <laughs> uh, oh, I do have cabbage and spicy. Ooh, maybe we can make some kimchi today. I'll have to bring the aging pot back out. Okay. I have... Yeah, okay, we'll grab some perfect sugar. So, it was milk, sugar, strawberry... And that's it? See? Oh my gosh, my freaking memory. <laughs> My short-term memory is just, it's, it's not as good as I would like it to be. Milk, egg, we do need an egg, okay. Milk, egg, sugar, strawberry. Milk, egg, sugar, strawberry. The, the vanilla recipe must be sand strawberry. Yeah, milk, egg, sugar, okay. Just milk, egg, sugar, and then whatever flavor. And I'm really excited to use this. Oh my gosh, it's a little penguin. You guys, it's a penguin. That's adorable. <laughs> okay, so sugar, milk, egg, and strawberry. Which I'm sure there's lots of other flavors I have not discovered yet, but... Let's just try this. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, yay. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. <laughs> Oh, no, I want some strawberry ice cream. Dang, that looks heck of good. Okay, this one's gonna go in the fridge, too. Oh, strawberry ice cream. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Alright, uh, so that's our ice cream maker. flavors of ice cream you can do. Oh, that's what I want to do is make um, green tea. Let's buy some more milk. I wanted to make green tea ice cream. I don't know if I can afford milk though. Let's see. I might have. I have just enough to get one milk and then like nothing else. <laughs> so I don't think we'll be able to make any more recipes with milk. It's okay. I don't think the frying pan or the mixer really use much with milk, so it'll be worth it. And let's do... Let's make our green tea ice cream. And our sugar. And egg. And the tea. Alright. Hopefully this works. Yeah! Alright, that looks so awesome. Nice. I'm actually not even like that big a fan of green tea ice cream, but it's just such a unique item to make. I just thought it would be fun to make in, uh, in the game, <laughs> you know. Okay, so let's see. I think we still have room over here. Yes, we do. Okay. Alright, so we have our frying pan and our mixer. Let's see what we can do with that. Frying pan. You can do a fried egg, that's pretty simple. Uh, an omelet. An egg with butter. A tomato omelet, which I don't think I have any more tomatoes. Uh, I bet we can make a spinach omelet. Mmm. I bet you can make a spinach omelet. Maybe the same recipe an egg with butter plus spinach. I really want to, I really want to try that. Do I have butter? Do I have an egg? Uh, okay. I need to grab an egg. I still have butter. Let's grab the spinach. I only have one spinach, but I'm like, you know what? It's worth it. Forget it. It's worth it. 
Though I bet I could make an onion omelet. Instead of a spinach omelet, that way I'm not wasting that one special spinach I have. Okay, I only have three more eggs left. experiment and see if the butter, the egg, and the onion make something. You know, the thing is, is like, in real life, if you combine, if you combine butter, egg, and onion in a pan, like, it's gonna be delicious, right? Like, but, but in the game, if they haven't specifically programmed something for that combination, then it just turns into a failed dish. So let's see what happens. Oh my gosh. See what I mean? That's so frustrating. Because egg plus onion plus butter equals delicious in real life, but in game it equals crap. You end up with a crap plate. Just. Uh, can I just. Uh, just throw it away? Just get rid of you? Okay. Darn it. Wasted an egg. Oh, that's so frustrating. Okay. So I only have two eggs left. <laughs> to use them well. Not waste them. Hopefully. Okay, let's try the spinach omelet. me so mad now. That makes me so mad. Oh, hell no. I know there's a spinach omelet. Okay, there's not a spinach omelet. Wow. Oh, see. I should not have experimented. <laughs> now I wasted a spinach and an egg. <laughs> oh, that makes me so sad. Mm. Okay, fine. Let's see what else we can make with our pan. Obviously omelets. I only have one more egg left. And uh, pineapple egg. I don't have any rice, so I can't do that. I don't have salmon. Croquette. Potato bread egg. You can use any bread. Mm, that does require an egg. Okay, croquette. I do have a potato, and I do have the cornbread, so we'll keep that in mind, croquette. Meringue? Or no, men menier? I don't know how you say that. Butter, herbs, and fish. I don't have any more herbs. There's herbs outside, but that's okay. I uh, don't have clams. Oh, I do have a muscle. Oh, I don't have olive oil, though. Okay. Big potato is pretty simple. Butter plus potato. I think I only have that one potato. Let's grab that potato. Yeah, one potato. Uh, two failed dishes. <laughs> Let's just get this out of my inventory for now. So it's not taking up space. Uh, I'll put the green tea. Where do I don't think we're gonna use that. I don't know why I'm holding on to this silver. I don't need that right now. Mm-hmm. Potato. Potato, just one. So we can make a baked potato. Or I can make a croquette. I'm inclined to make a croquette. Because I need potato and bread and egg, I think. I wanna I wanna use the egg well. You know? I wanna put it to good use. Let's double check that recipe one more time just to make sure. Uh oh, right back. 
You can make french fries. But I don't have olive oil, unfortunately. Yeah, you can make this like spaghetti. You know, it's cute. Um, tortilla chips. Hmm. Tortilla must be something you can make on the cutting board. I must not have discovered that recipe yet. There's a stir fry, butter steamed mussel. Oh, I could do the butter and the mussel. Oh, I'm gonna do that too. I'm gonna do that too. I'm gonna do the croquette and then do the butter mussel. Okay, croquette, croquette, croquette. Here we go. Egg, bread, potato. That's it. Okay. Egg, bread, potato. Egg, bread, potato. In the frying pan. Egg, okay, bread. You guys, look at it. I've redeemed myself. Stummy has redeemed herself. Let's put that in the uh, fridge really quick. So cooking's really fun. I mean, and the great thing about when you cook inside your home is that, like, no time goes by. When you're indoors in this game, no time passes. You can, like, spend all your time cooking, and it, and it doesn't waste a minute in game. You know? It's kind of cool. So we have a mussel, we have butter, so let's go ahead and make our butter mussel too. Buttered mussels in our frying pan. I hope I'm doing this right. Yeah! Oh, that looks so good. Oh my god. Oh, she's, she's holding a giant mussel shell like as the platter. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> I love the proportion sizes, too, of the dishes, right? Like, they're always gigantic. <laughs> Look at that muscle. It's as big as her head. <laughs> Alright, we'll put that away. Oh, I've got so much delicious food to eat now. Alright, and then lastly, we have our mixer. Usually you can use it to like make juices or you can make perfume, right? You just add, you just put flowers in. You can make different perfumes. Um, you can make different juices. You just have to have, oh, you only have to have one. Vegetable juice, that's a lot of different things. We can make carrot juice, I think I had a carrot. You can make juice from like pretty much any fruit that you have. You can pineapple juice, honeydew, grape. Oh, we can make milk, too. Hmm. I don't think we have any more milk, though. So I'll have to do a juice or a perfume. Let's see... Uh, what fruits do I have? I only need one. I wonder if you can do cherry juice. Let's, let's experiment, see if I can make a cherry juice. Let's just take one pineapple and we'll make pineapple juice because I know that that's a recipe for sure. And I'm gonna go grab some flowers really quick. I'll cut this. Okay, so we got our flowers, and we got our fruit, so let's go ahead and start making some juicy juices. 
Let's try Jerry and see if that does anything. This might be, this might turn out bad, we'll see. Oh, darn it, come on. See, if you put some cherries in a blender in real life, you'll have something good, but not in this game. They didn't think ahead and think that maybe someone might want some cherry juice. Cherry juice is unacceptable. But pineapple juice, we got, we got pineapple juice. make perfume. Perfume with uh, our two flowers here. Gotta put both of them in there. And uh, here we go. Yay, we have perfume. Okay, so real quick, I'm really curious to see if I can make a tortilla. are usually made out of corn tortillas, not flour tortillas. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking cornmeal and butter. I only have one more butter. Oh, okay. Because I don't actually have the recipe for this, so it's a good have to discover it. I hope it works. Oh, darn it. Oh, that's so frustrating. <laughs> Let's try just cornmeal by itself. It's probably not gonna work, but like, screw it. <laughs> oh man, oh, it's such a bummer. <laughs> it is such a bummer, you guys. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't think there's anything else I can combine the corn with that I can think of that would make sense. So we'll just leave it at that. Let's look at all the different things we made today. We made ice cream, we made a croquette, we made strawberry shortcake, we made cheese risotto, we made tomato soup, green tea ice cream, egg salad, buttered mussels, marinated fish, and we made a few failed dishes. Oh, I do have milk. Why did I think I was out of milk? Hmm, oh, we made some yogurt too. I made a lot of good stuff today. Um, some perfume and some juice, so. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for joining me. It's been pretty fun. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed our little cook-off, and, uh, we'll see you next time. Bye!